with dry humour. They christened their invention the Molotov Cocktail, a sarcastic response to Soviet Foreign Secretary Vyacheslav Molotov for his claim about the bombing of Finnish cities. The Soviet Foreign Secretary had the audacity to say they weren't bombing them, they were actually dropping food, which was a big fat lie. Um, so they named it after him and say, here you go, Mr Molotov, have a cocktail in return. This is a mock-up of what one looked like. Uh, you've got the flammable liquid, you've also got potassium chlorate, which is really irritating to come into contact with. And it also has a load of pine sap. And what that does when it burns is create a lot of annoying smoke, which is even more annoying in a confined space like a T26. So unsurprisingly, no one's gonna let me play with a Molotov cocktail. We have a professional for that. His name is Constar. First, a windproof storm match on the side of the bottle is lit. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be inside that tank at all. Never mind the fire, but the smoke as well. And if you imagine the hatch is down and you can't get out, um, I think we've established today that being inside a tank is not comfortable anyway, um, but having one of those suddenly sprung on you, no thanks. Half a million Molotov cocktails were mass produced by the Finns. This simple weapon would help destroy around 400 Soviet tanks. Finland's ingenuity and determination had turned the tables on the Soviets. 